In this video, I'm going to go over a C program to count the number of non-repeating elements in an array. So here I'm going to say int array is equal to, and we'll say 1, 3, 5, 7, and then maybe 3, 7, 6, 6, 4, 2, 9. And if you look at this array here, we have some elements that repeat. So like 3 and 3 and 7 and 7 and these two sixes here, and looks like that's about it. Th those elements are all repeating, right? Whereas, let's say one and five and four, two and nine, those elements do not repeat. And what we wanna do is we wanna count those elements that don't repeat in the array. So we're gonna make a function to do that. I'm going to say int non-repeating. It's going to accept an array and a length as arguments. And we'll provide a definition of the function down here. Now, non-repeating is different than counting the number of unique elements because we're saying that if the element repeats in the array, like 3 and 3 here, it repeats in the array. Because of that, we don't want to count it at all because it repeats. So just, let's just make that clear. And then we're going to call the function like this. We're going to say non-repeating array and then we give the length of the array. So let's just count to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 elements in the array. So to solve this problem, we're going to have a nested loop. We're going to have a loop inside of a loop. And the outer loop is going to look at each element in the array with a counter variable. The inner loop is also going to look at each element in the array with a counter variable. And what we're going to do is a comparison. We're going to see, is there a match between the element being looked at by the, by the outer loop and the element being looked at by the inner loop. So we'll make the two counter variables first. We'll say int i is equal to zero, j is equal to zero. We'll make a count variable to keep track of the count. And then we'll make our two loops here. So we'll say for i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus. And then for j is equal to zero, j is less than length, j plus plus. And if i a at i is equal to a at j, that means we found a match, and i doesn't equal j, that means that the element is not matching with itself, we're going to break. And then here we're going to say if j is equal to length, we're going to increment the count. So what's going on here is we're checking each element in the array with this outer loop here, which is using the counter variable here, i, and it's gonna go from zero up until the length. The inner loop here is also has its own counter variable here, j, that's gonna go from zero up until the length of the array. And here we've got a check. We're saying, does the element that we're looking at right now with this outer loop, does it match the element that we're looking at with this inner loop? And is it not the same element? So we're making sure with this check here that we're not, say, matching 7 with 7 in the same position there. We care about matching 7 with this 7 over here in a different position. And that's what this check here is ensuring. So if this is ever the case that we've found a match and it's not matching with itself, we're going to break. Now, if we break, that means that J will have not reached the length we will not have examined all of the elements in the array. If j ever does reach the length, that means that we went through the entire array and we didn't find a match. And that means that the element is non-repeating. And if that's the case, then we want to increment the count. So then we'll return the count here. So we'll say re return count. So we'll store the count here. We'll say int count is equal to non-repeating, and then we'll print it out. We'll say printf count percent d. And let's just give this a compilation to check it out. Okay, compile it, run it, and we get a count of five. And that seems right, right? Because one here is non-repeating, three is not non-repeating, so we're up to one so far. Five is non-repeating, so we've got two. Seven is not non-repeating. 6 is not non-repeating, but then 4, 2, and 9 are all non-repeating, so that would give us a count of 5, right? 
So one, five, four, two, nine, those are the non-repeating elements. There's five of them and we get the right count there. So here's our function for counting the number of non-repeating elements in an array in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.